Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to be filming this video. I found, okay, so I joined a Facebook group called the Pantastic Ladies. So they um, do a bunch of project pans and I kind of do one like once in a blue moon. Um, I did one with the seven dwarves and it didn't work out. <laughs> like I didn't finish it. I'm very bad with project pans, but this one is so freaking exciting. And I know I'm always excited for them. So this is probably gonna fail, but um, I really don't want it to. So, um, <laughs> so we have, um, whoa, 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 what am I, what am I talking about? So anyway, I was looking through the Facebook post and the Facebook like chat, the Facebook group, whatever. And there was a post talking about all the current project pans. And I was like, there's none that are like November that are short that are like current like that i could just jump on right now until this one appeared so this is the fellowship of the pans i don't know if it's the pans or the pan fellowship of the pan whatever but it is a play on the fellowship of the ring from lord of the rings and i live for like i live for lord of the rings i'm probably gonna go watch it after this because i just i love it so much i'm obsessed um and so when i saw this i was really really excited because i had a, a project pan in mind about criminal minds like doing a um a product for each criminal minds team and um like it, it's gonna be great i probably will do that after this one but anyway so i was really excited when i saw this one because um it's kind of like the same thing where you get to pick a product for a character and it's a character that you love like a, a a thing that you love if you love lord of the rings you know so it was super super exciting and i was oh my gosh i was like i need to do it it actually started in november uh, uh, sorry october 25th so i'm a little bit late to game like a week late but that's okay because um a week what's a week what's a week gonna change i've been using these products for probably that week i've been using a lot of these products for that week anyway so it did, wouldn't have mattered um so i'm sorry that i'm late if you're watching this and you're in the group <laughs> um but uh thanks for letting me jump on i'm so excited so we were told again like i mentioned a little bit earlier to pick a product kind of matching the nine what are they called uh, one of the nine characters who are basically tasked with getting the ring um, um to, to basically tasked with destroying the ring so um yeah um i have i picked a couple extra products i didn't pick one for each person i picked a couple extra because it was just so exciting i was like i need to pick these um so um yeah uh, i don't know what i'm saying i'm kind of really excited i'm like so excited that i'm like all jumbled without further ado let's just get started so first product if you guys would know first product my main man frodo oh yes <laughs> frodo he's the main guy he's the one who takes it on all the weight takes it through to the end and this product could not be a better fit this is my misha perfect cover bb cream in the shade number 25 first of all foundation base makeup takes on everything takes on your powder your bronzer everything your highlight your eyeshadow this product foundation takes it all on takes on all the weight so when your makeup looks bad you're like what's what what was my foundation doing that day you know everything relies on your foundation um and if that ain't true then you're doing something wrong with your makeup um, so I thought it was just a perfect fit. And then this is also, like, probably my most reliable uh, product right now that I'm, like, I can count on this product for anything. Um, like, I know that it's going to work. Like, it's just, I know that it's going to work. And so um, this kind of reminded me the most about Fro of Frodo product that, um, like, Frodo, you know, he, you know he's going to do it. You know, even if it's, even if it's a struggle, you know it's going to, you know it's going to work. You know Frodo's going to do it. So that's why I picked this product. I felt like it was a great pick. Great fit. All right, so next is Sam. And I thought of a product that works perfectly with my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, but also is a product that I love. So I looked at, I literally read Sam's name and I was like, I love him. So I had to do a Holy Grail product. And this is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I've repurchased this. This is the second time I repurchased this, and I because it is the best. I love it. Like literally, I looked at the, I look at this product all the time. I talk about it nonstop because I look at this product all the time, and I'm like, I love it. I, I love it. I love it as much as I love Sam. You know. So it was like kind of that same feeling when I was looking at this. I was like, I love it. I need to pick a holy grail because Sam is the goat. He's the best. Um, he's probably the only reason why uh, Frodo lasted. 
lasted the entire time you know getting the ring there because of his best friend so I felt like these were a perfect pair um, and this one definitely helps that this Misha perfect cover BB cream stay the entire day because it sets it in place so great duo thought it worked perfectly you know you know all right so then the next two are my favorites again I love 90% of these characters I love if not 99% of them I'm absolutely obsessed with so a lot of these are holy grails here because I love these products and I love these characters so next were Mary and Pippin and if you oh my gosh if you guys don't know Mary and Pippin they are definitely two peas in a pod so I thought a perfect thing to choose was a duo obviously it's a one pro uh, two products that are stuck together in a palette they're two separate products but they're stuck together um they are I love Mary and Pippin they totally take the uh, Lord of the Rings to a whole nother place because they're so out there and excited and like adventurous and stuff like that so I picked this duo because obviously it was perfect uh, but I also picked two other products for each of them and I know um, that's a lot of products, but I really wanted to so I picked two adventurous products that I feel like are out there for me and my personal preference um, So this is the appeal gel eyeliner in the shade forest green This shade is so out there for me. It's so bold. It's so adventurous. It's so Mary and Pippin, you know So I mean you could pick it for either one of them um, but I felt like it was just really really out there and um, Just how they are like they snuck on the so they snuck to go on this great journey like who does that who's weird like that you know who's out there like that so i really love them and i thought this product was a great one and then i also peeled, peeled, pulled this sephora lip story in the shade labyrinth city it's right here they don't really i don't know how good they're gonna work together but either way um i thought this was a great one too because it's very bold very out there i don't wear lipsticks a lot um oh my gosh i don't wear lipsticks a lot so it is very out there for me to have to wear a lipstick and stuff like that so i thought it would be great to um kind of do a bunch of products like one that like shows that they are definitely a duo of significant pair that is very out there and adventurous so i pulled these two as well so that was for mary and pippin i'm so excited because it's just perfect it's literally perfect perfect it took me really long to figure out all of these and i haven't been saying my goals on all of them I want to definitely, some of these, a lot of these I want to hit pan on or um, use a lot of it up on, but I don't have a specific goal for each of them because um, I don't, it's only November, it's only, well, I'm starting in November, it's November to February, so it's not very many, it's not too many months, and um, so there's no way I could use up all of these products, but I'd like to put a good wear and tear on that, so if that means hitting pan on this, then of course, but I don't think I'll hit pan on these, but I really, really want to get good use out of them, so um, that's kind of my goal is to just use them and abuse them, use and abuse them. And if I, if along the way I hit pan or use it up, then thank God, like I'll be so happy. But, um, I really, really just want to use them. Okay. So next product is Aragon and I call him Aragon. I don't know Aragon. I don't know. There's an R in there somewhere, but I don't know. I just call him Aragon because I feel like everyone in the movie just calls him Aragon. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I picked two products here and this was so hard for me because again, they both fit him so perfectly and I just like, I need, I need to use both of them and I, I just needed to. So when I think of Aragon, I think of someone who's very dark very obviously like there's he wears a lot of black his hair is very very black like he's very dark mysterious but something always pulls you to him like he has this charisma that you're like i want to be your friend <laughs> okay <laughs> keep it pg here but either way you something pulls you towards him and you're like i just want to I, I just want to be your friend like i want to like you because you're awesome and for me it was also something like about his appearance that kind of pulls you in but also like but that's not the main thing the main thing is what's in his heart and how sweet he is and how much love he has for people and doing right and justice and on and um and something about his soul just pulls you to him and he's very noble very courageous some someone you love like you absolutely cannot live without but also nothing super flashy super out there like he's nothing oh like he's nothing like show off nothing like that he's very calm and very like easygoing but you always want to be around him so that was <laughs> both of these products here i know they're both concealers but first of all this packaging though his black hair his tan skin and his black clothes it just fit so perfectly and this one kind of fit more so even though it is black again but it's more so the outside it's very elegant he is very put together but he's nothing flashy nothing glitzy nothing glammy both of these are nothing nothing out of the park but something makes you want what's on the inside makes you want to use them over and over and over again that's what i felt like for these 
it's something about the, the both of the inside of the product makes me want to use it so bad and like I couldn't just pick one because I wanted to use the other one too and then same thing so I had to pick both of them it just made sense because what was on the inside made me want to use it so bad so it was kind of like fit perfectly personally i don't feel like concealer is like end all be all um but i feel like it's something amazing that you want to always use and be around and like have you never want to be without concealer basically um so i thought they were both absolutely perfect so perfect all right next is my main man boromir he's not my main man i don't even like him <laughs> boromir is this homeboy who didn't like frodo didn't think it was gonna work thought it was a dumb idea was like I'm gonna go along anyway um he's a snod he's rude he doesn't really like any of the hobbits and then he dies saving one he saves either I think does he say Mary I think he saves Mary I don't know he saves one of the twins Mary or Pippin and he dies this noble death or whatever so I picked a pro pro a product that I don't really like because they don't really like Boromir and I don't think his character added anything to the whole whole series whole show i think that bormir adds something along the line because he has a bunch of connections like so and so knows so and so who knows so and so who helps frodo so i guess that's where they kind of needed that extra character but quite honestly like his snottiness didn't add anything you just hate him you're like okay shut up and so i felt like i had uh, this product was some had to be a product that i didn't really love i thought of it as this way because this is my becca hydromus set and refresh powder um this is a product i don't don't really don't really love but i can't seem to get rid of it and i thought that fit for me because it's like you don't really love him but if you wasn't there he wouldn't be able to save Pippin you know or save Mary whichever one it is um so it's kind of like you need him there but you really don't want it and so that's what this product is I really I can't get rid of it but I really don't like it so I don't know what it is about it but it's just it fit so perfectly I was like this is probably one of my only products that I'm like I can't get rid of you but I don't even like you you know so it's kind of like that where everyone everyone kind of looks at him and like I don't even like you even the people on the quest or whatever with him are like I don't even like you but I guess we can't like leave you here you know um so uh, that was this product it fits so perfectly and then next is my husband the love of my life Legolas he's the love he is the love of my life if you ever if we've ever had a conversation you know that he's the love of my life and it's not even like for me it's funny because i'm not even in i'm not even like orlando bloom is nothing like that it's like legolas is my husband i don't even know what else orlando bloom plays in because i i'm obsessed with legolas and that's it the character him i love him his face gorgeous of course but it's just like him as legolas is my husband and i picked this highlighter this is the ofra rodea drive highlighter so i actually had this in for another person but i just kept looking at it, i'm like oh I love this product and I didn't want to pick a holy grail because I felt like it didn't do him justice he has this legless has this like uh charisma that is like beyond no other he's a show-off he's a he gets everything done he kills oh my gosh when him and um Gimli I forgot his name him when him and Gimli are like having this competition he's such a show-off and so I felt highlighter perf uh highlighter fit it perfectly because it's very showy it's very show-off I don't know how to say that. It's it's show off kind of product. You're like, look at me, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I could get the job done. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like this was just perfect for him. Again, a product that I love and I look at it and I'm like, I, I'm obsessed with this product. I could not live without this. Even if it's not even, um, like he doesn't, uh, Legolas isn't the one who throws the ring into the fire. Like he doesn't do all these things that he doesn't get the big glory at the end of them um at the end of the movie like Aragon but like I could not live without this and you could not live without Legolas in that movie I live for him so I just needed it to be this product and it fit perfectly again something very showy offy showy offy I don't know and something very Legolas like out there beautiful bold everything you want in a man is in this highlighter I thought it was perfect perfect <laughs> all right so we only have two more products here um <laughs> I'm so excited like I'm, I'm talking a lot anyway next product is Gimli if you've seen Lord of the Rings what is Gimli obsessed with if not alcohol this is the Too Faced Hot Butter Rum Palette. Gimli is always chugging it back with some, I think it's just beer. I don't know what it is, but he's always drinking something. It's always down his beard. It's disgusting, but he lives for it. And so I thought nothing better than a Hot Buttered Rum Palette, which is rum, which is alcohol. If you're not, if you're not, 
Angel Gaines. Um, I thought it would be absolutely perfect. It fit in perfectly. I even like the cup here kind of like made me think of him because he literally there's a scene where he's I might have to put in a clip or something. There's a scene where he's chugging it back and it's dripping down his face and it's like bloop. Um, and so this eyeshadow palette is hard because I'm um, I will not be able to hit pan on any of these. It, only maybe this one and I doubt it. Um, so but I really want to use this palette. It smells so good though. <laughs> I really want to use this palette. I thought it would be great. Um, and it reminded me just of Gimli because he's very funny and I think what also kind of a lot of these are play on words which was also really funny like it's born to rum <laughs> like come on that's Gimli right there sin amen like with a sin so it's a, a lot of these are play on words very funny very playful just like Gimli he's hilarious um and yeah I thought it was perfect all right and then the last product is for the main squeeze my main squeeze <laughs> um Oh, I can't remember his name. Oh, Gandalf, <laughs> the now Gandalf the White, you know, that's what he is nowadays <laughs> at the end of the... I started off as Gandalf the Grey. I believe it's just Grey. I don't think it's Grey. I, I, I might have always said Gandalf the Great. I don't know, but it might have just been Gandalf the Grey, which is stupid. But now he's Gandalf the White, <laughs> so whatever. But this product made me think of him. Come on, let's look at it. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Diamond Milk. It's very magical-like, which he has magic powers, whatever. Um, and it's white, obviously, but it's very, like, it's not just white. It's very, like, that beaming kind of white, um, in the packaging, at least. Um, that reminds me of, like, when um, he's coming back. Like, after he's getting off the gray, he kind of dies. And then he comes back, and he, like, has this beaming light around him. And they're all like, oh, no. And then he's like, hi, guys. <laughs> and so that's what reminded me of this, because it has just, like, that glowy kind of white iridescent kind of feel to it and I thought of him instantly I was like it just needs to be this and I thought of a highlight for this because again very magical very beam like but um I felt like this just fit way way better and I think because it's white it fits so much better so yeah guys I'm so excited for this project pan again a lot of these products are just to use them get some really good use out of this like if I hit pan on this highlighter I would be so excited um if I could hit pan on an eyeshadow, if I could hit pan on some of these products, I would be so excited. But I really want to just use them um, and um, use them to their full extent. A lot of the time they just sit in my collection. Um, well, a lot of these are my favorites, quite honestly. But um, um, some of these products just sit in my collection or like I don't use them to the extent that I could use them because I'm like, I gotta use other products. But now I can use these because they're in a project pan. Uh, so I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited for this project fam. So much fun. I don't even know who created it. Maybe I'll write her name on the screen here because I don't remember but awesome job. You are a genius because this is a good project pan girl. This is a good one. Um, and so yeah, if you guys think my Criminal Minds project pan would be a good idea, comment down below. Let me know. I'm excited for it. I think it could be great. But um, yeah, without further ado, wow, what the heck am I saying? <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Bye guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll insert a quote at the end or something. <laughs>